All right, brother, just a little bit left. Right, right, okay, perfect. Right, right there, stop right there. There you are. Cool. Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh, this is Josh. Hi. And today we have the uh, Fat Shark Attitude SD. SD on my face right yes. now. Looks good. And uh, we are using the head tracking. Yeah, we never used head tracking before, and uh, it's pretty darn awesome. It's kind of out of body here. It is, it's really strange, <laughs> as I can see. Hey, stay out of the camera, Josh. Me. Which one? That camera, camera right. Other way. Look for it. Look for it. There it is. Say hi to the camera. Hi. Oh, hi. We have never done this before. This is new to us. Hard to believe because it's been around for a while, but Fat Shark has taken all these awesome components and, and put them together in a brand new goggle unit. And uh, it's amazing because it's 5.8, 250 milliwatt, and supposedly you can get close to a mile range out of this thing. A mile? So, a mile. Super, super duper uh, what far is it away. Called? Far away, yeah. Farther away Super than I've ever. Far away. Yeah, and, and resilient too. And it's also very refined because down, you can see Josh and I are both holding transmitters. Yeah, I've the got old, the uh, 8FGs just yeah. to power my. I'm, I'm actually just giving him experience. a ride along. Okay, yeah. he's, he's just on, on for the ride. I'm going to be flying the airplane. He's not flying FPV because I want him to have the chance to look all around as he's flying. This is like you're literally in the cockpit and you can actually move around. Now, you do need a pan and tilt system for your uh, airplane, and Chad Capper took care of that for us with a very simple, easy build. Right, and I think all that Chad used to put it together was like wood, yep. hot glue. Two decent quality servos. Zip ties. Zip ties, a, a piece of wire. A piece of wire. And extreme packing tape, the best stuff on earth. You know, just stuff you have laying around the house. Also, I want to give a big shout out to Laser Toys. They have been hooking us up with product here and there and always, uh, just Dan and Diane are awesome. We love them to death. They hooked us up with this great little airplane here. They sell these Phoenixes. They're wonderful for test beds for crazy projects like this. So thank you, Laser Toys. Thank you. Now, we're talking on the ground. You probably want to get up in the air, huh? Yeah, let's do it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this down, put it in the wind. All right, here we go. Ooh, here we go. Off we go. And I look to the left, and it looks to the left, and I look to the right, and it looks to the right. Pretty cool, huh? Straight ahead, look down. Hey, I see us. Look up. Beautiful sky Beautiful today. Clouds. Looks good. How's the vibrations? I didn't balance the props too well, so I apologize. Oh, it's not bad. Not bad? No. Will work? Will do. There's that giant pillow. I like that thing. I heard we need an air dome close to us. We do. So those we should just build one in Chad's backyard. Chad, can we do that? What? Build a big you air dome yes. in your backyard? Cool. Well hey. Look at all those golf balls down there. Yeah, there's a lot of them actually. Pretty cool. Yeah, this is awesome. Now, man. what to do for motion sickness? Are you getting motion sick, or is it actually a little bit nicer because your movement matches what the camera's looking at? Yeah, uh, because I can track with my head um, when somebody else is flying. I can kind of uh, look ahead to where you're where you're going, and okay. uh, yeah, it doesn't mess with me that much because nice. I do get motion sickness nice. from watching somebody else fly. Now, if you guys have watched me when I fly quadcopters and a lot of other planes, I kind of curl up to the fetal position. And uh, that could be something I'll have to get used to. I'm looking forward to trying this for actual FPV. That's something that dates way back to his childhood, though. Yeah, yeah, I, I have issues right I don't want to talk about, but yeah. you know. But the nice thing is if you do do a rapid movement too quickly. You said do do. If you move your head too rapidly or say the goggles fall off, yeah, the right. thing will automatically sense that rapid movement. See that? Go right back to the center. And it'll go right back to yeah. center. There's that little beep. Yep. And then all you have to do is find this little button here on the top, hold it down, beeps again, and now we're back in action. Yeah, this thing's flying really good too. This is a twin engine setup on this little guy uh, with just two simple Tower Pro motors and uh, plenty of power and uh, not too much weight where it doesn't hinder performance. So it's carrying the GoPro, still flying nice and slow. Good These setup. are some pretty cool shots yeah. too, looking straight down at the ground. You like that? Yeah. Oh, awesome. too Love far. You just, you just went crazy there. That's okay. Now one other cool thing about this too is Chad's setup is made so uh, you guys can actually just get parts. Uh, you don't have to, to get a laser cutter or anything too complicated. You can actually just go ahead and whittle us out of basic materials. And so he's made it very simple, very few parts, very cheap. And uh, judging by hopefully the camera quality, it'll be very good quality as well too. Hey, I want to fly right over that net and see what you think. Okay. Actually, you know what? I'm going to fly, see if the golfers want to try to hit, take a whack them. Take oh, a look at those golfers. See them? Yeah, I see them. Oh, they look, they look hungry. Wait, a lot of balls out oh. there? What? A lot of balls out there? Golf balls? Oh yeah. 
There's the net. There's us. There's the ground. Pull up. There look at that go. big barrel thingy there. I'm trying this? to give you something to look at. Oh, too far. Too far? I'm trying to be respectful to the golfers. I know. Here, so I'm, I'm, I'm rubbernecking. All right. What do you say we bring it in? All right. Let's bring it in. All right. Watch out for We're that net. Up. We're kind of on a downwind, so we'll see how this thing performs. It's Not too cool. bad. <laughs> a little hop and a skip and a bump. But she's good to go. Yeah, we're down, okay. Like. Now, can, right. you, can you still turn and everything? Still got it. Perfect. So what's your experience with the fast trucks? This is fantastic. Fantastic? It's just like being in the cockpit of the plane. You can look around. Nice. Now, good you probably stuff. you probably recommend if you're going to mount on an airplane, do what we always do. Chop off your nose so you can actually look down. There's no good reason your to look down nose. at your nose. Yeah, your airplane's nose. There's Not no sure. good reason to look down and have your view obstructed. The neat thing with this is it seems like they got the wider angle of view back on these fat sharks. And also the lenses are once again adjustable. They kept the eye cups. The, the foam's gone. You don't have to worry about the foam, you know, giving you all those problems. They kept the eye cups but you can actually move those lenses back and forth now to custom fit to your eyes, which is a huge thing. A lot of people didn't like the fixed position and the narrow field of views. But if he was actually flying this, this would be the only setup you need to fly full immersion, head tracking, FPV with superior range. Nice. That's amazing, because if you've ever seen us with our geek boxes, it's quite cumbersome. And now we have geek boxes and geek glasses. Yeah, I like them. Well. I like them. No, the SpiroNet right. antenna gives a good signal. Did you have any interference? Nope. None? Pretty good. Nice. And it's compact. 5.8 is a really small little antenna, which is really nice too. All right. Well, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks to Stonecat Productions for sponsoring this episode. Make sure you guys check out our website, flighttest.com. Go to the forum. Chat it up. Chat it up on the forum. Yes. Read the articles and rate the articles so all the good stuff comes up to the comes top. Comes up to the top. You want the good stuff on the top. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next time. See you next time. Wrong way. That way. Yeah.